And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Frozen Fortune. That's right, we're going to be combining Misfortune with Ash and a whole bunch of Frostbite um, cards and everything with Misfortune and the vulnerable um, things from Bilgewater like Hired Gun and Razor Scale Hunter and even a Yi Bend Warren. So combining Frostbite and Vulnerable together. Um, patch 1.4 isn't quite out yet with our morning stream. It should be out by the time. Um, it's going to be out in about an hour and a half. So it should be out by the time that we'll play our next deck. So the other three decks that we have for today, uh, for those of y'all watching on YouTube, those should hopefully have uh, the new cards like new Braum, um, new Anivia, and new NAB cards. And so we will be uh, showcasing some of the new cards. Um, but first, we're going to be playing this donation deck that didn't have any of the... Um, and by new cards, I mean cards that are affected by patch 1.4. That's what I really mean there. Um, but yeah, this deck looks pretty solid. Just a really good curve. Should be awesome in combat, which is a really good... Uh, you know, which is something you definitely want. Um, one thing that I like here is that we have two Babbling Bjergs. When I'm summoned, draw a unit with 5 plus power. And our only unit with 5 plus power is Ash. So basically, these Babbling Bjergs are going to be tutors for Ash, and they'll be able to put the Ashes into our hands. So we'll always be able to have Ash with that. Like, that's that's pretty awesome. Um, well, we're, we're still going to be able to pressure the opponent well also. All right, so let's give this a try. Fortune, frozen Fortune. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of tricky to say. Frozen Fortune. All right, here we go. We're going to go play five games, and let's see how we do. Uh, delay for the camera. Okay. Hopefully that helped. All right, playing against Yasuo Katarina. <laughs> well, this hand doesn't look too good. Let's just restart. Um, we're gonna keep Brittle Steel. I like Brittle Steel a whole lot against. Uh, it's great against Katarina. It's also very good against um, the Fey Blade Twirler. It'll be very good against a couple other things. Think fast? Cute. A true Fragorian, welcome. And especially since it wasn't very likely that we'd have anything else to play on turn one, we get to bank. Uh, we get to keep that brittle steel with, that, with our banked it's spell mana. They're really stunning the wrong thing. They should be stunning the Ice Veil Archer. Oh, well, never mind. That's why. Okay. Um, I'm going to let this trade happen and keep Riddle's Heal to protect Ash. Just fine to have that kind of trade. We'll just eat this thing right now. Success. Get to notice around here. Never. Uh, that blade's edge. Blade Judge does kill the Ice Veil Archer.
Yeah, I could I could basically let the the blades edge kill hired gun instead of ice veil archer. Going somewhere. Mm, so I have twin disciplines. Uh, transfusion. Okay, that's okay. Like our, our Ash just traded, our Ash and two damage for Hired Gun just traded with a Shadow Assassin and a Katarina and a Transfusion. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. So that's a, that's a lot. Like Yone, we kind of just have to go straight to attacks. Force them to use those kind of cards. I dare you. Every way is a path. Okay. Rear guard's good. That was a good one drop to get. I feel like they're gonna like stun. Um, you know, stun or recall so that my he been warned won't actually uh, work. We're gonna try it. So I'm frost. Okay, so basically what I'm doing here is this is the one that I really want to die because we get to draw a card with, with that. And this one's always going to be vulnerable. This is only vulnerable for one round. Um, and so therefore I'm going to frostbite the other so that if they want to save this, the one on the left is the more valuable one. So if they want to save that one, they're just getting rid of like this crappy Legion rear guard and everything where. It's more incentive to save this one over here because uh, I'm eating that with this 3-1. And so if they want to save this one over here, these can trade, that's fine, but then I draw a card. Here's our chance. I guess the rear guard doesn't have scout anymore, does it? Hmm. Blade Toros are pretty good. Cards are pretty good for just a two mana card. It does a lot. Now, 
Pretty good. Swim quickly, little fish. Alright, definitely really glad to get that thing out of here. So cards pretty good too. Faster than my arrow? I think not. We were ahead of them on cards a little while ago, but not anymore. Ready the torches. So hoping we get to crystal arrow both you know and frostbite both of these. That's good. Draw another Ash, so I have... Like, that's really good to have Flash Freeze available, so that if they if they do stun things, um, I'd have that burst speed to be able to uh, make Yasuo zero power, because, you know, whenever Yasuo stuns a recall, strike stuff, so you want Yasuo to be zero power. Does the wind flee, or does it follow? That is not good though, they had another Yone. Let's just kind of see what happens here first before we just throw this other flash freeze away. Extra 3 2 is really annoying. I don't think we just let this happen. Terrain here is opinion. I'm one of the good guys. My best draw is Harsh Winds. 
Harsh Winds wins us the game. Come on, Harsh Winds. Well. Potentially wins us the game. Adorosans, stand together. You cannot escape. But I need to keep this flash freeze for the Yasuo for whenever they play Yone. <sighs> this isn't good. That's really not good. Not a good time to draw you, Omenhawk. Not a good time to draw you. So I can keep my two champions alive by going Flash Freeze plus Elixir of Iron. I, I keep them alive. But the problem is that then they can just untap and next turn play Yone and kill things. And then I don't have any protection for the Yone. So I kind of need to keep the Flash Freeze for that. Which means... Um, I, need to, I need to keep Flash Freeze for whenever they play Yone. Because if I... If I do it right now, they just don't have to play Yoni right now. That means I need to use Elixir to save. There. Oh, no. How? Well, that didn't work out. I got this game. It's just yeah, I mean, because they, they still just stun these, and even though I keep them alive, that really didn't work out. Does the wind lead, or does it follow? All right, Grace Claw, you got a donation deck. The blade above all. Okay, synergy is Trapper plus. Okay, Avaros and Trapper and Avaros and Outrider. Awesome. Killed me. There's Yasuo with a bunch of Yone's. That was a good game, though. You know, it was a good back and forth game. Hey, Astonishing. Yeah, Sejuani should definitely be in that deck, Grace Claw. Yeah, it, you should be sold on Sejuani. Yeah, it it should one hundred percent be in there. Yeah, it just fits everything. Fits fits the overwhelm and stuff. And you could even have Sejuani. I don't know if you can turn on Plunder that easily, but if you can, you could even have Sejuani's boat, the Tusk Grader, and then double up the the power and health of the allies in your deck. That could be pretty cool too. Send it all back. Turn one, Omen Hawk. Dang, the hapless aristocrat. That's not good. Um. Do I enjoy Gangplank Sejuani more than Misfortune Sejuani? And they're basically the same thing. Get bloody, get paid. But 
not. I I think I guess so. Time to make some calls. Like I I enjoy I guess I enjoy I enjoy playing Misfortune more than Gangplank, so yes. And I don't really have a favorite Gangplank deck, to be honest. I really don't have a, a favorite Gangplank deck. Well, real good start for them. Hapless Aristocrat, Thorny Toad. That's going to be difficult to fight through. They're so small, but they ain't lacking courage. And that's fine. I don't know if I play Ice Veil Archer right now. I don't think I do. gonna save this ice veil archer Just thankfully we get to draw ash 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 is gonna be ash is really important to try to beat a deep deck to try to just do a whole bunch of damage to them um, yeah ash is really important uh gosh i guess uh, Gosh, we're just going to be trading with those Jaw Hunters, no matter what. I don't think I'm really in the business for Harsh Winds in next turn. We need to ha save the Harsh Winds for Leveled Up Ash. So I guess if we're just going to be trading anyway. I'm just trade. The best region win rates right now was Noxus? Huh. The Isles will bloom again. Surprised, maybe... Maybe is that because there's, like, less Noxus decks? And so there's less, like, random Noxus decks that people play that aren't very good, maybe? That... that therefore... Uh, lose some games? Maybe? I'm not sure. Yeah, I really like Razor Scale also. Cool, I was a little worried about uh, Vengeance, but then a Vengeance would kill Ash. But yeah, like that's really nice being able to kill that Maokai, and we still have another attack step without being a scout. Who's on top of the bounty board today? That's really nice. I will unite the frail yard. Let them kill a 3-1? Maybe not. Look out there! I guess so. The thing is, like, we, we have to do 20 damage. We we definitely want to have we definitely want to have six units next turn attacking. Make it worth my while. Not 
Not my first gun fight. Okay, so that probably means Withering Whale. They don't have another devourer. No. Worst case scenario. Mm. So now I just have the one scout. Just send this out here. Six, nine, ten, eleven, or let's see, nine, thirteen. Ah, I can't do seventeen. Yeah, I can't do seventeen. Do I just harsh winds? You know, that puts him down to three. I could put him down to one if I have the two power challenge instead of the four. We could put him down to one, but there's probably not a difference between three and one. Compare, I mean, well, obviously there's a difference between three and one, but uh, it's probably not as valuable as getting that devourer off. Oh no. Off the battlefield. But yeah, like a, a withering whale now um, would put them back up to six and kill all these things, and then I wouldn't have lethal. So like a withering whale is problematic. No prey, no pay. Ouch. Well, please just don't have Withering Whale. It's the one card that saves him. Awesome. I wonder what the spells were if they weren't Withering Whale. Like, what, what were those spells? I wonder. That's... Yeah, I wonder what they were doing. Okay, Sejuani, Timo. Hmm. We'll just mulligan these two top end cards. Get one of them back. We see through all. Get bloody. 
buddy. Get paid. Uh, never mind. <laughs> so I was going to Ice Veil Archer, uh, the Starlet Seer, but never mind. Misfortune. See the Nebastian border from here. Ready the torches. And hopefully the love tap just takes out the Avaros and Sentry. All right, perfect. That worked out well. Could have Ice Veil Archer the Teemo and not let them attack with it. Not my first gun fight. But that's okay. Hopefully be some misfortunes, mowing down some stuff. Well, they can make that Teemo a 2-2 now by just casting these two Mushroom Clouds. If they keep two mana, they can keep, make that a 2-2, which would kill my Ramping Wolf. If I go Hired Gun. So like if I go Hired Gun, make that vulnerable. Okay, hired Gun would make this vulnerable. We challenge Teemo. Teemo trades here. Otherwise, I could just go Archer on the Teemo. And then challenge Teemo. Yeah, because Higher Gun's not as good anymore. I should have done the Higher Gun first while we had the 4 1, so I could throw a 4 1 in front of, of one of these. Basically, the problem is, is if they have Elixir of Iron, to, they could kill a champion with an Elixir of Iron on that jump one. But no, it looks like they're just they're just willing to block and let everything die. Looks like. Well, that's awesome for us. I assume we're going to win from here. Certainly assume we're going to win from here. It's even like Sejuani we have covered with like this kind of stuff. Alright, I don't think I need Flash Freeze. There's <clears throat> Right. Strike now. 
All right, well, Misfortune dies, so Misfortune won't level up. But... They're still probably gonna die. Power of the curve. Yeah, it's having some, just some great combat cards. You know, like our, our cards are just so good in combat with the frostbite, the vulnerable. Uh, they didn't really have removal except for for the misfortune at the end, but just you know couldn't handle the you know the hired guns and everything like that. All right, I'll keep a brittle steel. I wouldn't mind having like a brittle steel and an elixir of iron, but we just have to make sure that we have units. So I can't keep too many spells. So I can keep either elixir of iron or brittle steel. Against a removal heavy deck, I'd keep an elixir of iron. Against a comp a deck where combat's going to be important, like here, I'm going to keep the brittle steel. No, I don't have a cat anymore. Um, did have a cat named Hawkeye. And that's what my name is derived from. Um, Hawkeye, but I like wearing ties also. But Hawkeye uh, passed away in January. He was the best of cats. Unlike a lot of cats, like he knew his name real well and he, he would come whenever I called him. I could call him from multiple rooms over and he would come running. Looking for trouble. It found you. Not something a lot of cats hey would do. Red. Well, that's one fantasy come true. The dead don't need riches. Don't get ahead of yourself. Love ya. So you either have Rhyfing Wolf kill Misfortune or get two attacks with Island Navigator. I'm going to go for the two attacks with Island Navigator. Because then next turn we can potentially have our other Island Navigator. We level up Misfortune. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. I'll, <clears throat> I'll just kill the Yordle Grifter like that. I still have this flash freeze. You've got dangerous eyes. I like that. So now I have to have Gotta have flash freeze available so I don't get to play anything else. There's plenty of killing left. A true Felyorian welcome. Dang. That's a turn right there. Triple spell, hired gun, jagged butcher. Like, Two mana, two, three, make your thing vulnerable. One mana, three, three. Two mana, four, two, frostbite it. Uh, 
That is a turn right there. We're down to six. I guess we're going to six. Good news, bad news is this misfortune's almost dead, but good news is they didn't trigger plunder, because that's that looks like they were trying to trigger plunder. Bullet time. It's bullet time. And the living's here. easy. Make it worth my while. Can attack with every bug. They play Misfortune. They should know that blocking the Misfortune is the worst thing to block because it has Overwhelm whenever it levels up. That was just the, the worst block they could make. <clears throat> Our misfortune will die now, but still die to hero. Still die to hero. That's probably the card they took from me. Scouts. That we can send out there for a first attack step. Mm. Ash is three out of five. This like forces them to use, you know, to be able to have a removal spell to stay alive, and then even if they do, then we'd have Ice Veil Archer making a 4 out of 5, Ash 5 out of 5, like, it's pretty tough for them to survive both of those attack steps. And there we go. That's a good win, especially for like, like, they had a really good hand. Right? Like, they had one mana 3-3 three, three on turn one, and then they had, what, Higher Gun on turn two, Misfortune on turn three. I don't remember exactly what their turn four was, but I remember their turn five was Higher Gun plus um, Ice Veil Archer plus 3-3 three, three Jagged Butcher. Like, besides, besides topping out with Sejuani, besides having a Sejuani, they had everything else they could want. 
I'm just gonna keep this. Right, we, we talked about we talked about Citrus Courier. It it could be a one of instead of the third Razor Scale Hunter. But I think that just triggering plunder is honestly going to be pretty difficult if you don't have misfortune in play. It's so like Citrus Courier, you can't play, you can never play it on your opponent's turn. It can only be on your turn after you attack. And it's like basically if you don't have a misfortune, it could be really difficult to turn on. And so we went with uh, just having the three Rage of Skill Hunters, which I've been, I've been really happy with the Rage of Skill Hunters. They're just consistently good. Well, I don't know. I guess does that that counts as a victory? I guess. I mean, our hand was awesome. <laughs> I guess that's our that's our four one. I guess. Yeah, that's kind of the problem with playing in normal. Is sometimes opponents just concede. <laughs> but ranked's not open right now. Cause it's gonna reset in about a half hour now. Um. So yeah, there we go. 4-1 with Frozen Fortune. Um, yeah, I mean, I liked this. I liked how how good this deck was in combat and all like you know being able to attack multiple times with these scouts, um, consistently having Ash with the babbling Bjerg having Ash. I like that. Um, and then I like having like all these different tricks and everything. Um, you know, like Brittle Steel Elixir of Iron are both amazing one mana cards to to help you uh, get ahead and stay ahead. Um, so I liked all that. I, I honestly don't really like this Yi Ben Warned that much. I would, I would prefer a second Flash Freeze myself over the Yi Ben Warned. Um, I just think that Flash Freeze, again, helping you in combat is really important in helping protect Misfortune and Ash. And our Flash Freeze was pretty good for us with that. And of course it levels up Ash also. If this card wasn't slow speed, I would be, I'd be happy with it a lot more, but like having to like take your whole priority turn to play this even warned and then your opponent gets to respond can, can really cause some awkward situations. Besides that, uh, everything went pretty well. Yeah, everything went pretty well. Besides that, probably my, my other least favorite card in the deck is probably Averrozen Sentry. But I don't know if I have like a, a great uh, card to be playing instead. Um, yeah, it's probably should just you know probably like Avros and Century is probably the best card to, to put there, because um, it's like a two mana card that you always like playing on turn two. Where like Hired Gun and Ice Hill Archer, you don't always love playing these cards on turn two, but Century you do. And I don't I don't think there's a better two mana card to put there so it should it should probably be in there it's just it's probably my least favorite card besides that because it doesn't i mean yes you, you do get to draw a card with it but it's not a very big threat just being a two one it's easy to kill and it doesn't really help affect combat that much you could play yeah i guess you could play make it rain instead of century i suppose um, well, you say it's weird not playing the Citrus Courier. Citrus Courier doesn't, it's not like you, you're probably just thinking of always, like, there are times where Citrus Courier can be awesome, but there's a lot of times where this won't do anything. It'll be a six mana, four or five. It's not like Plunder is, like, super easy to turn on. It's not like it's just, like, automatic you get to do this. Like, we have Misfortune that's really good at triggering Citrus Courier. Yes. That, like, Misfortune, awesome. Without Misfortune, like, what, what about any game that you don't have Misfortune in play? It can be really tough to turn this on if you don't have Misfortune in play. And it's, you know, by, by turn 6, turn 7, whenever you're playing this, it's more likely than not that you don't have Misfortune in play at that point. But yes, I understand the synergies with Ash, with being able to Frostbite again. 
and attack again. It has high upside, but I, I think if if you want to play Citrus Courier, I think you need to have ways to be able more ways to be able to turn on plunder than just misfortune. So you probably need to start that's where you probably need to play like make it rains. Um also like at least. So yeah, I, I would say if if you want to put in a Citrus Courier, like instead of a Razor Scale Hunter, if you want to put those in, probably need to like take out like Avaros and Sentry for some make it rains. Or something else like that. But with how our deck is, I just felt like it was going to be too difficult for a Citrus Courier. And so we just went all the all the Razor Scale Hunters. And I was very happy with the Razor Scale Hunters. Very happy with those. <clears throat> all right, so there we go. Um, <laughs> no, don't drop Elixir of Iron. Don't drop that card. Drop drop the Yee Ben Ward. If you want to drop something for a Genevieve at the top end, drop, drop that. Now, the problem... Uh, well, Genevieve, Genevieve is Demacia, also, right? Yeah, Genevieve is Demacia, so you can't do that, also. Um, originally, this was, one thing I, I changed, this was originally uh, two Razor Skill Hunters, one Sher Sheriff Lariat Rose, but because of Babbling Bjerg, I really wanted Babbling Bjerg to grab Ash because Ash is so valuable that I wanted to take out the Sheriff and just play Razor Scale Hunters instead. Um, yeah, <laughs> never proved like Brittle Steel Elixir of Iron. They they just tr always trade for like three four mana like they always trade for like two three four mana spells, and they cost one mana in their burst speed. Like how many times like somebody is you know get excited your misfortune or your ash and you save it with an Elixir of Iron or like they have a three three that you attack in they have a three three you know like like that happened multiple times like where. Um, you know, like their three three, my misfortune would have traded, and then brittle steel, boom, they don't trade, and we just took out a three three for one mana at burst speed while leveling up Ash. It's just, these these cards are too efficient for what they do. It's they're so good, they always trade up mana wise, um, and they and they're they're just perfect with your champions. Like Elixir of Iron is just perfect with misfortune and Ash because misfortune and Ash are both cards that. Um, reward you for keeping them in play for multiple turns and also reward you for putting them in combat. Like, it, it's good to have, you know, you you need Ash in combat, so you want things to protect it. Like, it's, there's just no reason to put, like, you you should probably play, like, if you were allowed to, you'd probably want to play more than three Elixir of Irons. Like, you just, there's no reason to play less than three. All right, but anyway... Uh, that's it here for Frozen Fortune. Awesome deck. Good 4-1. Start the day off. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Uh, let me know what you want to see with the new patch. Also, patch 1-4. What, what do you want me to play tomorrow and in the coming days? What cards are you super excited about? All right. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Frozen Fortune. And I'll see you for the next video.